Very sad, all right? So remember the eight year old kid that we covered who got arrested according to the authorities for stealing a bag of chips. Remember that, it went viral, okay? Let me take you back to that because now the family is claiming they have arrested this eight year old child again. And the police department in Syracuse, they are intentionally targeting a child. Here's that video that went viral. What is y'all doing? What are y'all doing? What is y'all doing? Guess. Take a guess what I'm doing. Hey, he like a baby to me. Why you, why you? Guess what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. Exactly. I just see you snatching my butt. No. So what? So what's going on then? No. You're stealing stuff. If you break into your house, you steal something. Nah, you're man. What are you selling? A bag of chips? So y'all treat me like a whole cold blood. Killer? Keep, keep, keep walking, dude. You don't even know what you're keep talking about. Keep walking, I do. I, I know what I just came up and see. I know the I just came up and see. Okay, what did you see? I see y'all snatching him up the bike like a grown ass me. Ain't he saying it wasn't him? What is y'all doing? How old is he? What is y'all talking about, man? That's against the law. What is y'all doing? You cannot put that. What is y'all doing? Take the chips. If you stole some chips, I'll pay for them. I'll pay for them. You don't even know where he lives. Y'all just throwing him in the car. That's what they do. They come here. What is y'all doing? Leave him alone. No camera. That's all we can do. He a kid. I checked with Syracuse. They actually have a non incarceration rule for minors as it relates to offenses, misdemeanors, etc. So the arrest was not warranted, period. Now, according to the family, they are going to have to sue. They were they were about to let it go. They now have to sue because the eight year old was arrested again. And there seems to be a pattern of targeting this kid. Let me give you the background, all right? Since that incident went viral, the department, they have continued to single out this child according to the parents and the attorneys. The attorney said while the child was on his way to Schiller Park pool, he was accosted by the police. The child's trip to go swimming was impeded by law enforcement. And a purported video exists showing him in handcuffs again as the officers investigated a robbery. A video purportedly attached to the claim shows the eight year old remained in handcuffs for up to 10 minutes before being released without being charged with anything. That's exactly what happened to him the first time. Now remember, there's a protocol, a law that prohibits officers from incarcerating minors for petty offenses. You do have to call the parents if you feel as if that's necessary. The SPD, Syracuse Police Department, confirmed in a statement. The boy was detained in handcuffs at the park as officers investigated an alleged armed robbery. There was no robbery. There was no robbery. That's coming from the police. So wait a minute. The police, they're not saying he's not the person that did it. They're saying a robbery did not even happen. According to uh, Lieutenant, let's put his picture up, Matthew uh, Malinowski, two groups were fighting. He also noted the boy was later released to his family despite doing nothing. The lieutenant said in the statement the boy was not charged and no gun was recovered. So what is the family doing now? Okay, so now you gotta seek legal action. So the family is seeking legal action on Wednesday, July 20th. Child's father, Anthony Way, who hired the two civil rights attorneys announced the plans to file a lawsuit, hoping the three officers involved in the incident will be terminated and that the child receives millions of damages on behalf of the family. They placed a notice of claim in motion against the Syracuse Police Department and the city of Syracuse. A notice of claim is required to alert a city of a future lawsuit and to establish rules for a conversation about the potential settlement. Uh, now this is common for pretty much every government. You have to send them a warning shot, so to speak legally. You have to send them an intent to sue is what this letter does. Uh, but it also lays out their case of why this is pending. Uh, let's go to the chief. So the Syracuse police chief, his name is Joseph Cecil. On the original incident says, he believes while there were low points during the incident, 
The ultimate outcome, including the boy being released to his dad, was an example of community policing 101. It's, it's amazing when they, when they lose, they want you to say, we're winning. When they violate the rights of somebody, they want you to give them a hero cookie. When they go outside of the boundaries of their profession and they violate a kid, they still want you to think, well, that is a good thing. This is the culture of policing. There was a time when nobody would ever believe that a police department is targeting an eight year old kid. But think about this, that eight year old kid because of how they treated him has created significant embarrassment to that police department. You don't think if some of these cops saw this kid and said that's the one, you don't think they would mess with them? They literally said he, he fit the description of a robber and no robbery had taken place. What do you think they're doing? All right, Jackson thoughts on this. So, you know, a lot of people from the outside looking in, you know, don't understand that these police departments literally view black communities as staying within the greater community in their eyes. And, you know, you have to get to them early. You got to get them out of here early. I mean, just look at the anger that is totally unnecessary for dealing with a child if you're a grown man. Again, it's reflection of how they look at the community in general. So, you know, these three officers absolutely should be fired. An example should be set. But again, the bigger problem is, is the hiring process of bringing people in who look at blacks as stains on the greater community. And that's, that's all it is. Very well said.